Hello, it's Josh Gaming here, and welcome back to the Let's Play on the Most GP7 Saints. Today we're going to be carrying on on round number three of AI Korea. Today we're on Sepang. It's going to be an interesting track, this one, because Sepang is not one of my favourite circuits. And uh, yeah, this is the third round of AI Korea, episode number 23. And let's go see actually how well it's going to go for today. If uh, if uh, any uh, any of you don't know what I do in AI, AI Korea, basically I've got to try and get uh, five riders in the top positions without failing, including me, which is number five. Uh, so number one is Valentino Rossi, number two is Nicky Hayden, number three is Loris Caparossi, and number four is Tony Lace, and number and number nine is K uh, and not not number nine, and uh, number five <laughs> is uh, Casey Stoner. Well, it's actually Jack's game in AK Casey Stoner because. Because one let you know, by the way, that I am doing it in the four strokes, by the way. So I did say in the last uh, MotoGP season, I, I did say that I am going to do a, a series on the four stroke riders. Just because I don't do four strokes a lot in MotoGP games, I decided to do it in, uh, in this one. I, I might not be able to do it, uh, doing it in the MotoGP 18 as well. Just because it's, it's, like that, that, it's not that long until that, until that one comes out now anyway. But I will do a series on that in the future if I do do AI career again. If, uh, if, uh, if you want to come check out the, the last uh, season I did on, on the MotoGP category, uh, I'll leave that in the description down below to the first ever season, also to the first episode of that one. If you want to go and check it out from, from that way. So, yeah, this is round number three on Sepang. And let's go see how well we're going to do today. The past two rounds weren't, weren't too bad. Uh, Rossi, uh, Rossi's got a double lead in the championship, which is good news. Uh, Nicky Hayden, like I said, exactly the same thing. Um, because Rossi and... Hayden have actually doubled their lead in the championship now. So basically, they finished uh, first and second in the previous two rounds. Uh, Caparossi, he's not doing too bad at the moment. And uh, Tony Elias, he's pretty much in the middle at the moment. Um, so uh, hopefully this week, we actually should be okay. All right, let's go straight in. And let's go and see how, uh, what we're going to do today. And today, we're on Sepang. Let's go see how it goes. Uh, so let's go and start off with Rossi first, as always. And then we'll start making our way past and, this, and to see where all the rest of them are. All right, let's go see how it goes. Right, so Rossi hopefully should be at the front. Let's go see how it goes. Right, I'm in 11th at the moment. I want to let you know, by the way, uh, that I am doing one more race from 12th, which is in the next episode. And then, like I said, in the episode after, I, I will be uh, starting from the back of the grid. Um, uh, just to uh, just to make it like a little bit more challenging. So I will be uh, doing that in, uh, not the next episode, the episode after, in episode number 25. So make sure you go and stick for that. All right, let's go see how it goes. Oh, I think that was, uh, that was, uh, uh, Nakano getting in the way, and uh, oh, 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 there he is. Uh, there's Nicky Hayden. So Nicky Hayden's quite far down in this race. So Nicky Hayden's quite far down in this, and I think that might be Caparossi as well. It is. That is that is Caparossi. So it looks like that Caparossi is actually uh, 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 is actually ahead of Hayden in this race. So it looks like that Nicky Hayden's not having a good race so far. So it might end up being Caparossi finishing in second. What to say about that? Right, just get round the outside of Pedroza. So it looks like that Rossi might be in the lead already. Uh, I'm not sure if it's him or Lorenzo. I'm actually totally not sure. I think that Lorenzo's in second. Uh, yes, it is. Yep, Rossi is in the lead already. So what we're going to go and do is I'm just going to just I'm just going to just go and give uh, Rossi just a bit of a gap so Lorenzo don't actually. Yes, yeah, so Lorenzo don't catch him up. So that's what I'll go and do. So try and get to Lorenzo as quick as I can. Absolutely easy. Right, I'm actually going to try and get around the outside of Lorenzo. That's not going to work. Just going to gap him out a bit, and then uh, Rossi will have kind of like a big massive gap. There we go. Right, just just uh, get uh, just get Lorenzo just a little bit wide. Right, get off Lorenzo. Right, looks like Lorenzo's not crashing, but um, he's fine. There we go. I've oh, there we go. I've crashed him anyway, but I've crashed as well. So it looks like that's not been, uh, not been a good start. I've crashed already. So uh, hopefully that Caparossi should be in about fourth place now. So that's not been a good start. So I've had my crash already. So we are back down into tenth place. So we've got a lot of work to do now. Well, Lorenzo's uh, slipped up, slipped down to eleventh. So that's absolutely fine. But this is going to be a good idea. Just trying to find where Tony Elias is as well. Because uh, I've no idea where, where Tony Elias is either. That, that was a that was a that was a, a sad exit. I mean, um, that was a um, that was a horrible exit. That was not too good. It looks like the three riders managed to get me into that corner. Right, got a lot of work to do now. Let's try and get back to Caparossi. Yeah, let's try and get back to there. Ooh. Oh, oh, I've crashed again. Wow, this has not been a good start. And why why the hell have I started on the bloody grass? Well, that is a uh, well. This has not been a good start. I, I, that, that's two crashes in two laps. Well, that is um. Well, that's put me all the way back to second dead last now. Well, that's not good news. So Lorenzo's dead last, which is good news. But I'm second to last. So that has not been a good first start to the first couple of laps. But good news this though is at least I'll be able to try and find where Tony Elias is because hopefully he's not way far down. Otherwise, if he's far down, that's going to give me a lot of hard work. I can't see him at the um at the moment. I think I think that might be him right there, I believe. Or is that um is that uh, Troy 
um, Bayless. I believe that, that is him right there. So he's ahead of Neil Hodgson. So Elias is in 12th. So that's not been a bad start to Tony Elias. So hopefully he's going to start making them up a little bit. So yeah, that is Tony Elias right there. So he's in a, he's in 13th at the moment. So that's not been a good start to Elias. So, right. That has not been a good start to him. So uh, let's just go and leave him for now. And let's go and start off by heading to see why Lois Caparossi is. Because I think the last time I saw him, uh, he was in about fourth place. So hopefully we should be okay. We've got 10 laps to do it in as well. So we've got uh, plenty of time. Uh, so let's go and see actually where he's actually going to be. And uh, that might, and there is Nicky Hayden as well. Is uh, it looks like the... the uh, oh, 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 no, it's, it's not Nicky Hayden. That's do, uh, do, Dobby. Uh, that, that's Dobby. Um, um, I, was, I meant to say not Nicky Hayden. So Nicky Hayden, I believe, should be in about fourth. Actually, I think, I think, I think he's overtook Caparossi. I, I think Nicky Hayden... Is actually, uh, is actually already took um, Caparossi already. So, Nicky Hayden was in, like, sixth place when I last saw him, and, and now he's in, like, third. So, it looks like he managed to take over Caparossi then. So, uh, Nicky Hayden's already at the front already. Oh, 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 actually, I'm getting a little bit worried that Nicky Hayden might have crashed, actually, because Rossi's in the lead, but if that's Danny Pedroza, Nicky Hayden's crashed, um, which is not going to be good. But I'm actually totally not sure. So, well, I'm going to be having to think about that. But there's uh, Caparossi anyway, so... We'll, uh, we'll stop running about Nicky Hayden for now. We'll try and get to the front as quickly as we can. Yeah, right, I'm going to try and get around the outside of Caparossi so we don't knock him over. Yeah, I'm going to try and get around the outside of him. That's not going to work. Right, I should ho hopefully be able to close him up into here. All right, come on, Casey Stoner. Right, oh, I don't want to I don't want to knock into him. There we go. That's fine. Right, I just got around him very cleanly. That's absolutely fine. Right, I'm not sure if that is actually Nicky Hayden right there because I'm getting a little bit worried that Nicky Hayden might have crashed. Which is not going to be good for the championship because Nicky Hayden so far has had two second places. So I'm getting a little bit worried that that might be him right there. But 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 it doesn't matter though. Nicky Hayden is right there. It looks like that, 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 that Nicky Hayden actually made his way up since I last saw him. So he's in third. So under the guy we just got to get, I believe it's just Danny Pedroza. And then Hayden's in second place. So that is, that is really good news. Uh, so if we just get around the outside of Hayden, there we go. So, so basically, the only thing we just need to do is just get Pedroza really, really wide. And then Nicky Hayden will be in second place. Right, I might be able to get him into here. Actually, I'm not going to get him into there, otherwise I will crash. So I don't want to crash again, because that would be the second time I crash in this race. Right, I'm just going to just try and get uh, Pedroza just really, really wide into here. Right, just get... There we go. Right, get Pedroza down. Right, there we go. Nicky Hayden's throw. Right, he's into second place. There we go. Right, Hayden's throw. Right, he can, uh, he, he can, he can bolt, bolt, bomb off into the, the distance now in second. Right, where is Loris Caparossi? Okay, Caparossi is right behind, I believe, Danny Pedroza. I believe, yes, he is. And Caparossi is behind Danny Pedroza. So, only thing we just need to do now is just slow Marco Melanger up a little bit. And then that should give uh, Caparossi a little bit of a gap to actually get himself up to third. And then, we need to try and find out where Tony Elias is. Because the last time I saw Elias, it was in about 11th. So uh, hopefully that Tony Elias is actually not going to be that far behind on what he was before. Right, just just get uh, Marco Mal just get Marco Melanchi just a bit wide. Uh, it's not going to work at the moment. I'm, I'm just trying to get uh, Marco Melanchi just a bit wide. Right, if I can just try and um, nudge him into that corner. There we go. Nudge him. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. That was absolutely perfect. I did I did make him go a little bit wide, but that was not too wide. Right, I'll uh, I'll make him go wide into here. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Right, just make him go wide. That's fine. Right, there we go. Right, I've slowed him down. That's absolutely fine. I've slowed him down. That's, that's uh, perfect. Right. But caparossi has got a bit of a gap to Pedroza, so he's going to just try and um, get Melanchi wide. There we go. Right, Melanchi's gone wide. That's fine. Right, I'll have to go and get uh, onto the, uh, the other side now and get Danny Pedroza because Pedroza's now come through instead of Caparossi. So I just need to just go and uh, get um, Pedroza, my, uh, my old rival in the championship. Now I'm going to just try and get him wide. So I need to try and get Caparossi through. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. Pedroza's wide. That's fine. Right, Pedroza's... Right, he's wide. Is that Caparossi through? Yes, he is. Right, Caparossi is through. So, only thing we just need to get now is just... Uh, it's just Mark Ooh! There we go. Just get Pedroza down. So, uh, basically, um, he's actually not going to get in the way. Right, just need to get... Um, just need to get um, Mark Camelanger now. And then Caparossi will be in third. So, I think the only thing I just need to do then is let's just give Mark Camelanger just a bit of a gap. And then uh, and then, uh, and then uh, Caparossi can, can actually come through actually out, out of making him crash. Right, here we go. Just just make him go through. Right, make him go wide. Oh, oh, that's... Well, I crashed, but I did make Marco Melanchi go wide. So that's fine. That's fine. So Caparossi is now in third. So that's uh, that's good. So, and only the guy we just need to find now is Tony Elias. And Tony Elias, actually, might be ahead of me now. Because the last time I saw him, he was absolutely fine. Is that him right there? 
I'm not sure if the, oh no, oh no, that's not, that's not him right there. I'm, I'm actually not sure where Tony Elias is, but, uh, but, but what I'll do is I will go and head back in a minute until I've uh, got uh, Kaparossi just a bit of a gap because, because, because we don't want that happening, do we? So I'll, uh, I'll, gi I'll give him a little bit of a gap and then hopefully uh, by the time we get into the next few corners, we should hopefully be okay. But I can't see Tony Elias at the moment, so I'm not sure whether he's, he's, uh, he's dropped down or, uh, he's dropped down a little bit or maybe he's, maybe he's had a bit of a nightmare, but we'll have to go and see what happens in the, uh, in the next couple of laps because we're, uh, we're only on lap number four, so we've still got uh, plenty of time. And uh, there is Kaparossi as well, so it looks like that, that he's got a bit of a gap uh, to uh, Marco Melangio now. So, only thing I just need to do now is just get Marco Melangio just a bit of a gap, and then hopefully he's actually not going to catch Kaparossi because I want to let you know, by the way, that Kaparossi doesn't actually have the um, the one of the fast catches, so uh, he, he might be struggling a little bit on it. But apart from that, though, he actually should be okay on it. So, if I can just uh, give him just a little bit of a gap now, uh, we actually, um, yeah, we actually should be um, okay with it. Right, here we go. I'm going to just try and get him a little bit of a gap, which is uh, which is going to help. Uh, I've gone a little bit wide into there. That's, that's absolutely fine, because I'm using the 2007 Ducati, by the way, if you might have, if you might have wondered. Well, let's try and see if we can try and get a bit of a gap. But, uh, but, 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 but you can see they're on him, look. They're on him. Right, okay. I need to, I need to do a lot of work to do. So I need to get uh, Marco Melangio wide. I right, get wide, Marco Melangio. There we go. All right, just get him down. That's fine. But Dovey's on the charge. Dovey's on the charge. Right, get off him, Dovey. Dovey, get off. There we go, thank you. There we go, Kaprossi got a bit of a gap, that's good news. Right, Kaprossi, you are saved. You are in third, okay. Right, where the hell is Tony Elias? Right, where's Tony Elias? Okay, right, I'm going to go and um, just make myself go a little bit wide. So we've only got five laps to try and see where uh, to try and see where Tony Elias is, because uh, if he's quite far down, that is uh, that is not good. But Alex Hoffman, Jesus Christ, he's in bloody sixth place. What's he doing all the way up in the grid? Right, I'm just going to just go wide here and just try and see of why Tony Elias is. Hopefully he's not crashed as well, because I'm getting a little bit worried that he might have crashed. And if he's crashed, by the way, that's uh, that's not good news. And uh, there's, uh, there's uh, Hoffman's teammate, Meccano, that I'm going to go and get now, around the outside. There's Colin Edwards. Now we've got to just get Colin Edwards, that's fine. Right, hopefully that Tony Elias is actually not that far ahead, because I'm, just, I'm getting a little bit worried that he might have crashed. And um, it's not come up on my screen, actually. Oh, God, I've gone on the grass. Uh, so hopefully he's actually not crashed, hopefully. Oh, there he is. He's right there. He, what the what the hell, Tony Elias? He's in like 15th. What what the hell are you doing there? There he is. He's in 15th. What's it what's he what's he doing far down? What's he doing that far down? I've got a flipping a lot of work to do now. I've got a lot of work to do on Tony Elias. Well, he's there. He's in 15th, so that's not good. So I will have to definitely get him some points. Well, there's uh, there's Lorenzo again, so I'm definitely gonna get him down again. Right, Lorenzo, get down. There we go. <laughs> Just get Lorenzo down again, just a bit of a fun. Right, so that, that that's made Tony Elias one place up. So now he's in 15th. So that is a uh, that is not 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 bad for Elias at the moment. So yeah, I've got a lot of, a lot I've got a lot of, a lot of hard work to do now. Try and get Tony Elias up the field. I've got a lot of hard work to do. Right, I'm going to probably start off by getting these guys down first. Get Hopkins and is that Shane Byrne right there? I think that might be Shane Byrne. Or is it or is it Jeremy McWilli uh, Jeremy, McWilli uh, Jeremy McWilliams if you can even say his name? That's in uh, uh, that's in 12th. So I just need to get these guys down, and that's going to get Tony Elias up to 12th. Right, try and get these guys. There we go, get Hopkins. Oh, that's not going to crash him, is it? No, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Just get Jim, Jeremy McWilliams as well. Right, sorry, uh, sorry McWilliams, unfortunately you'll have to get yourself down. There we go. Right, Elias is now in 13th. That's fine. Right, Elias is now in 13th, but I've still got a lot and a lot, a lot of work to do. This is like uh, this is like being, um, being, at, being at school. This is like being at college where... I'm, 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 I'm hard working on, uh, on riders. But yeah, Le uh, I've got a lot of work to do to try and get Elias on the field. Right, just get Barros. Barros, get down, please. Just need to get Alex Barros. There we go. Right, Alex Barros, get down. Oh, gone wide. That's gone wide. That's fine. Right, Alex Barros is not getting himself down, but unfortunately, he will have to get himself down because I need to get uh, I need to get Tony Elias up the field. So just need to get Barros. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Right, is that going to put Elias in, in, in 12th now? Yes, that is. There we go. Right, Elias is in 12th. I can just see him right behind me as well. It looks like the, the, uh, there's actually someone on his tail, but I, I'll go and sort that out in a minute until I've actually just got some more uh, some more riders. Next up is Dobby Pedroza and is that Kenny Roberts? Not maybe Kenny Roberts, I think. It, it is Kenny Roberts. I just need to get um, just get Dobby down as well. Oh, this is hard work. This is hard work. But we've still got four laps left, so we've still got plenty of time yet. So we might be able to get Elias in the um, in the top in the top. 10 hopefully but uh yeah this is a uh, 
This is really hard work at the moment, you guys. And this is what AI Cray is all about. It's such hard work trying to get riders to win the championship. It's it's hard work at the moment. It's such hard work at the um, at the moment. It's uh, hard work at the moment. It's uh, this is what I like to see. You see, lots of hard work, and then probably not lots of hard work. So so yeah, at least he's now in 11th. So that's good. So I, I'm going to go and get one more rider, and then I'm going to try and see if he's going to try and get bunched up because I think Elias, by the way, is going to get attacked in a minute, and we don't want that happening. So. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just go and get Kenny Roberts down because I think Caparossi is going to be safe in third. So that's going to be absolutely fine. So and what I'll we'll go, we'll go and do, by the way, is I'll just go and get um, I'll, I'll just go and get Kenny Roberts here. And, and, and then I'll go and slip back and I'll try and see if actually why Tony Lee is actually not going to get himself attacked. Right, here we go. Right, oh, oh, there we go. He has been attacked. He has been attacked. So who's that that's come through? That is, that is Jeremy, that's Jeremy McWilliams that's come through on him. Right, I will have to definitely get Jeremy McCulliams down again. Oh, oh, Alex Barros is on him as well. Right, Barros, get off. Barros, get off. Thank you. Right, just push Barros wide. That's fine. Right, Tony Lace is safe, but he's not safe at the moment, though, because there's a lot of riders on him at the moment. Right, so that is, uh, that is McWilliams on him now. Right, M McWilliams, that place is for Tony Elias, unfortunately, so I'll have to get him down again. Because uh, that's, that place is supposed to be for Tony Elias only, not for McWilliams. Right, just get him down. There we go, that's fine. Right, that's going to put Elias through. I, I, I'm just going to just give Elias just a bit of a gap as well. Because uh, there's actually a lot of riders that are on him. At, oh, Jesus. There's actually a lot of riders that are on him at the moment. Uh, because uh, Elias, by the way, has actually got one of the slowest bikes. So that's why I need to get uh, a lot, a lot of riders down. Right, just get Kenny Roberts again. That's fine. Got a little bit wide. That's absolutely fine. Right, just, just going to get um, Mako, uh, Makoko Tamada as well. Ooh, just get Tamada. There we go. Just get him down. There we go. Right, I think that should be fine. I think that should be absolutely fine. All right, let's go and start getting back to the top 10. So, so top, to, to, Tony Lewis is in the top 10 now. He's in the top 10. That's good. So he's in ninth, but fortunately, it, it, it will be in 10th now because I need to get him back. Right, I just need to just uh, get him back very cleanly. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Uh, Tony Lewis, I will see you in a little bit. Right, just, just go wide. Here we go. So, uh, so let's go and catch up to the next group, which is actually quite far ahead at the moment. So I'm getting a little bit worried that, uh, that Elise is not going to get another place. And another, like I said, though, I've only got three laps left to go to try and do it. So hopefully, I actually should be okay. Because I, I did say that Sepang, by the way, is going to be an interesting circuit, by the way. Uh, so it's probably not going to be, um, it's probably not going to be that interesting. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It should be, should be okay. To start to get in the next couple of laps. But um, yeah, I did say that uh, that Sepang is not one of my, uh, it's not one of my favourite circuits. So I did say that I might be uh, struggling a little bit. But apart from that, though, I'm absolutely fine. Right, okay, so I've nearly catched up to, to the next group already. But Elias, by the way, he's got a massive gap, by the way. Right, hopefully he should be safe. Hopefully he should be safe in 10th. So I'm, get, I'm getting a little bit worried, by the way, about him. But hopefully he should be okay. Right, let, let's go and get on the charge on Danny Pedroza. Uh, here we go, just get Pedroza. Get Pedroza, get down, please. Thank you very much. Right, that is Pedroza down. Right, Pedroza is now down. I'm actually not sure if that's going to put Elias in 9th. I'm actually totally not sure. Right, we're just going to we're just going to get uh, one more rider, and then I'll start heading my way back and try and help Elias a bit more. But this is uh, this is hard work at the moment. Hard work for Tony Elias, at least. Anyway, right, just get um, get Alex Hoffman. Right, Alex Hoffman, you need to get down, unfortunately. And there we go. He's down. Okay, he's down. Right, I think Caparossi should be safe, hopefully. Right, uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to leave Caparossi for this race, just because I need to help Tony Elias. But hopefully Caparossi is hopefully going to finish in third. Right, I'll have to definitely get Alex Hoffman down again, because unfortunately he's um, he's had a bit of a landing. Right, Hoffman, get down. Ooh, he's not getting down. Right, get off me, Alex Hoffman. Hoffman, get off, mate. Gone, <laughs> gone wide. That's not, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Right, get him down. Ooh, <laughs> Turned out to be a bit of a scrap with that Alex Hoffman. He's not getting himself down, is he? He's not getting himself down. Well, he needs to get down because that's where Elias needs to be. Right, I, might, I might just end up pushing him wide. Right, go wide. Go wide. Go on. Oh, yes. There we go. That's fine. There we go. That's fine. Right. Is that going to... Oh, I don't want to crash. Oh, dear. Well, that was not good. Well, I've not crashed. There we go. Back in 11th now. So, I think Elias should be in about 9th now. Well, that's it. That's probably really, really wide. That's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. Right, where is Tony Elias? I think he should be in about eighth now. But Williams has got me back. Right, should get Mick Williams. That's fine. There we go. I, I, oh, there we go. That is Elias. So it looks like is that Dobby that's got him? I think Dobby's just got him as well. Yep, that is. That's Dobby. Right, I think Dobby's got him as well. So Elias is now back, back into tenth place. Elias, what the hell? 
Should be in bloody eighth by now. It's that mean old Dovey, isn't it? Yep, Dovey's got your back. Right, Dovey's got your back. Got Rodo, I will help you. Right, Dovey. I told you to not get him. I told you to not get him, did I? I told you, Dovey, to not get... Uh, to get... Uh, no, I can't say the word. I told you to not get Elias, and you have. Dovey's told the truth, and now he's down again. That's fine. Oh, God, oh God, gone wide. There we go, that's fine. Right, Elias is now in ninth. That's good. Right, but we've only got one more lap left to go, so we might be able to get him in the top five. I'm actually totally not sure whether that's going to work, but I'm going to try and get him in the top five. Next up is Danny Pedroza. Right, I'm going to try and get Pedroza. Right, I'm going to try and get my old rival around the outside of Pedroza. Cut him on the inside. That's fine, there we go. Right, is that going to, is that going to bring Elias through? Uh, is, is that going to get Pedroza again? Yes, it is. That is going to bring him through. That's fine. So it looks like it's just uh, him and uh, Jer Jeremy McWilliams now that she's come through. So I'm just, I'm just going to just get these guys uh, just just get these guys wide. So Elias has just got a bit of a gap. Ooh, get McWilliams. That's fine. Ooh, on the curves. That's fine. Just just go and get um, Pedroza. Uh, just get him round the outside. All right, Pedroza, get down, please. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, you don't want to get down, but you don't want to get a bit a big enough gap. I'm going to just try and gap him out. That's fine. Ooh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It looks like that Dovey's caught him up, but that's absolutely fine. And there we go. Right, Joyce has got a bit of a gap now. So Elise has got a bit of a gap. So Elise is now in seventh. That's not bad. That's not bad for Tony Elise at the moment. I might be able to get him one more place. I might be able to get him one more. I don't I don't know whether I will. I'm, I'm actually totally not sure. I might be able to get one more point. And Lorenzo. Lorenzo is right behind them as well. So I'm going to go and get Lorenzo. I'm going to go and get Lorenzo again, just because he's actually caught them up. Right, I, I, I might be able to get all three of them. What I'm going to go and do it is I'm going to get all three of them into a, into a corner. And, and then I'll start off backing him away for a bit. But that gap is actually quite big, by the way. So I'm actually totally not sure if I'm actually going to catch that, that catch that group on the final lap. Because at the moment, though, I'm getting a little bit worried that, that, uh, that Elias is going to end, end in seventh. Which is not going to be a bad result for Elias. I know that, like I said, though, it, 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 it must have been a bit better if, if, if it wasn't actually that... Low on the... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm going really wide now. This has not been a good last lap. I'm going really wide. Right. I, I, I need to get uh, Lorenzo quick, actually. I need to get Lorenzo and Dobby quick. So uh, they don't actually catch Elias. Right. Just need to get these guys. All right. There we go. Get Lorenzo. That's fine. All right. Just going to get... Just going to... Just going to get Dobby as well. All right. Get, get down, Dobby. Oh, God. Dobby's not getting down. Just going to get Pedroza. Right. Get down, you two. Right, I'm not messing about. Right, that lot to do. That lot to do. Ooh! <laughs> Come on. It's pretty hard. Ooh, get him! Yes! There we go. I've got him. That's fine. There we go. Right, hopefully that he's going to be safe. Right, hopefully that should be okay. Right, hopefully he's going to be safe. Right, okay. Because, by the way, I need to finish in eighth, by the way, because I'm, I'm not allowed to pass Tony Elias. I need to, I need to stay in eighth. So... It looks like that's not going to be a bad result. Hopefully that Caparossi is going to finish in third. Because I'm getting a little bit worried about Caparossi. So hopefully he's going to finish in third. Um, Rossi's going to win anyway. Nicky Hayden in second. Caparossi in third. Um, Elias in seventh. And me in eighth. So that's not been a bad a bad race, actually. That's not been bad. Hopefully. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, it's fine. Right, I'm not going to get him anymore. Right, just got the final corner left to go. So it's going to be at least in seventh and me in eighth. So that's not been a bad race. It's been a bit, it's been a bit of a tough one, that one, though. It's, uh, it's been a bit of a tough one, that one. Um, just because that seems that, uh, that Sepang is not one of my favourite circuits. But um, I'm going to finish in eighth after all. That's not going to be too bad for both of us. But there we go. Eighth place and seventh. So that's not been... That's not been a bad race, that one. That has not been too bad. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Caparossi did get third. Uh, did he get third? Oh, Marco Melandri got him. Marco Melandri got him at the end. Oh, Marco Melandri. Oh, he got him at the end. So he finished in four. Well, that's not... That's that, that's good. That's good. So Marco Melandri, oh, the bad boy. He got third. Well, um, that's not bad. Rossi still won anyway. So Rossi's going to double his points again. Uh, so, uh, Nicky Hayden was 6.5 seconds behind. So, Nicky Hayden got second, which is good news. So, Rossi and Hayden, like I said, both first and second again. Uh, Melandre sadly got third. Caparossi got fourth, which is not too bad. Max Biaggi got fifth. Toro Kawa got sixth. Tony Lace got seventh. I got eighth. Pedroza got ninth. Barros got tenth. Neil Hodgson got eleventh. Hoffman twelfth. And Edwards in thirteenth place. So, that is... um.
That's not been too bad. Um, it would have been better if Mark and Wanchu didn't get Caprossi right at the end. But apart from that, though, he did get him, sadly. Um, to be honest with you, though, that, that's not been a bad result. That has um, not been bad. Um, it would have been would have been a bit better if he, if he did close up on the championship. But um, apart from that, though, that was not bad. I think I really enjoyed that. That was actually not a bad race, to be fair. To be fair, though, it would have been a little bit better, but... Let's go see how much what that's done to the championship because it, that's going to put Tony Elias up as well, which is going to be good news. But let's go see uh, of what that has done to the championship. Okay, all right, looks like it looked pretty good so far. So Rossi has doubled his lead again, uh, so he's got 75. Like I said, he Hayden has doubled his points again in 60. So Rossi and Hayden have both doubled their points again. So Rossi is 15 points seconds behind Nicky Hayden. He's got 60 points. Uh, Caparossi, he's in third with 45. So it looks like that, that Caparossi's got a bit a big gap to Hayden. Elias is still in fourth with 30. And, and, I'm in, and I'm in fifth with 28 points. So I'm only at two points behind Tony Elias now, which is not bad. And Marco Melandri, though, he's... Uh, he, look, look at Marco Melandri. He's up to six. Marco Melandri's up to six from that result. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, for some reason, my door went a bit a bit of a nightmare in my bedroom. But anyway, right, let's get back to where we were. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that is... um, Let's go, let's go and have a look then. So that's pretty good. But Marco Mancha, though, up to six from eighth. Well, um, that's going to be good for him. So I, I definitely need to keep an eye on him in the next race. Because uh, he's uh, definitely going to be scrapping with Caparossi there. So I definitely need to keep an eye on him in the next race. But apart from that, though, yeah, it was pretty hard work, that race. Uh, well, pretty much for Tony Elias because, um, yeah, uh, I was getting really hard work with him. But um, yeah, that was um, that was uh, that was not too bad. I think that was uh, not a bad race. But to be fair though, Tony Elias did get seven. But that's not that's not bad. He's still in fourth, which is good. But I'm only two points behind, so I'll definitely have to uh, end um, in that result in the next uh, race. But um, apart from that though, that is uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I oh, got that's fine. Right. Let's go and move on to the um, let's go and move on to the constructors now. Uh, Yamaha are in the are, are, are in the lead still with 75. They're, they're, they've doubled their lead again. Oh, so Honda have doubled their lead again with it with 60 points. They're 15 points behind Ducati are in third. Suzuki in fourth. Pirelli in fifth. And Suzuki in sixth place. That's looking good. That's looking good for the for the constructors. So it looks like that Yamaha and Honda have both doubled their lead in first and second, which is um which is good news. But um yeah, that was um. That was a, that was a really good race. Really enjoyed that. Not one of the um the best results I probably ever had, but um yeah that was a, that was really good though. I actually really really um enjoyed that race. Not the um not the uh, not the bad race, but um I really enjoyed it anyway. So all right, let's go and move on to the next round, which will be in the next episode for round number four. So uh, let's go and see what the next round is going to be. Right, the next round is my home circuit. My home circuit is next. Well, it's actually not for um. Uh, Casey Stoner, because he's from Australia. But um, apart from that, though, it's my home race for my rider. So we've got the next race is Silverstone, or Silverstone, whatever you call it. But yeah, that is the next race of round number four. So that will be coming up next week. So let's go see how that one goes. Uh, I want to let you know, by the way, uh, that, um, that um, on Monday, uh, Saturday, there were no Red Bull rookies. Uh, but that will be back on next month. That will be back this Monday, by the way. Yeah, I just want to let you know, by the way, that Red Bull rookies uh, wasn't on on Monday because, uh, yeah, I was I, I was away. Um, and I couldn't have time to film it because I was in Reze. Um, so yeah, I want to let you know, by the way, that the Red Bull Rookies um, series will be back on Monday. So make sure you go and stick for that. And also on Monday, uh, I'll be doing the, uh, the MotoGP 18 uh, announcement trailer as well uh, of when it actually comes out. Because I want to let you know uh, that I'm going to do that on a Grand Prix mode. I'm going to be talking about the MotoGP 18 announcement trailer uh, of when I start career, career mode and when I'm starting the date on that. So yeah, I'll be I'll be doing that uh, on there, and also by the way, uh, there's going to be another video after this. Uh, I'm going to do uh, a MotoGP 17 customization video. Uh, well, I've actually not done a MotoGP 17 before, so I'm going to be doing that after this. And when I've got this uploaded, I'll be moving straight to that, and uh, I'll be doing um, a MotoGP 17 uh, customization video, and uh, that's going to be uh, how to customize your own bike, I believe. Yeah, how to customize your own bike, but technically I'm just going to just call it customization because it's just like a bit of an easier name. So I will be, um, I'll be calling it that. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, that is the uh, the end of um, of um, of AI career this week. I think it's been too bad. So what I want to let you know, by the way, uh, that I am going to do uh, one more race uh, from uh, qualifying. By the way, um, 
and then like I said, I'll be um I'll be turning it off by the way for the uh, for the next uh, for the uh, for the next race. Um, so I'm um, there. Yeah. Oh, actually, I can't turn qualifying off. I know I can't turn it off, can I? Qualifying. I know I can't turn it off, can I? Because I'm not in the uh, the menus. I don't mind. I, I think I think it'll be too difficult anyway. Uh, yeah, I've just realised. Like, yeah, I've lost my word. Um, I can't turn qualifying off when I'm in championship. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be doing qualifying in uh, every single race then, and then I think in the new season I'll start from the back. Um. With, um, without qualifying. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm not going to end it yet. I, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, MotoGP 18. And also I'm going to talk about um, the Red Bull Rookies when that's coming back. And also I'll talk about um, basically about MotoGP. And also MotoGP in real life, by the way. Because uh, I've actually not watched MotoGP um, in real life. Because I think it was uh, yeah, it was Argentina on, 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 on last weekend. And basically I don't even know what the results were. So I will go and let you know on Monday of what the results were for MotoGP 18. Uh, if Mark Marquez won the championship or Rossi won the race. But yeah, let's don't say, but I will be watching that either tomorrow or on Saturday if my mum let, lets me watch it. Um, I'm totally not sure. Um, but um, yeah, so I will be uh, watching MotoGP tomorrow because I didn't watch it over the weekend because I was in Rezzi. Um, and also I went away for a couple of days. I couldn't be able to watch it yesterday. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to watch that either tomorrow or Saturday. And I'll give you some details on Monday. Uh, when I go back, uh, when I go back to the Red Bull Rookies, um, and I will let, let you know uh, who who won the race, who got second, who got third, who qualified really well, um, who basically got a good result, um, who was on the podium. Uh, so yeah, I will go and let, let you know uh, who's going to finish them uh, races on the um, on the podium. But looking forward to watching MotoGP because, uh, like I said, I've been missing it a lot of because I didn't watch it over the weekend because I was away. But if I watch it tomorrow, hopefully it should be a good race of all the classes like Moto Two, Moto Three. Um, and I hope uh, that they uh, that they all um, should be um yeah they should be um all good races to be honest with you because the whole time I've been doing them all they actually should be okay races but um yeah they actually um they actually should be um okay hopefully but um yeah they actually um should be all right oh actually hang hang on a minute Oh, my head's mixed up Ugh. Oh, my head's mixed up a little bit here. Yeah. Right, let me uh, let me say that sentence again. What I said earlier. I will be starting from the back of the grid in the next race. Um, I, I don't. Yeah. Um, basically qualifying one, I cannot do it whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, just trying to know what I said earlier. Uh, I was supposed to be saying that I am starting at the back in the next race, but not doing qualifying one. So qualifying one is gone. So, get rid of it all, not do any times, and then I'll be starting with the back of the grid in that one. So, yeah, that's what I was supposed to say earlier. Not not say, um, oh, j oh, I'm starting from 12th in every race, but I'm not. Uh, so, qualifying one, not do it completely, then start from there. So, just trying to know what I said earlier, because I, I lost the concentration. But, uh, but, but anyway, yeah, so in the next race, I'll be starting from the back um, on, on Casey Stoner. And hopefully it should be difficult, because... I'm getting a little bit worried that it might be a bit difficult than what I did on the MotoGP season. Uh, because, like I said, though, there's, there's a lot of riders in, in this category. And, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult, that one. So, um, hopefully it should be okay. Um, and, um, yeah, hopefully it should be... Um, yeah, it should be uh, okay. So, uh, so yeah, as soon as I've got a little bit of time left, I might as well go and talk about uh, MotoGP a little bit, uh, since uh, while I'm here. Uh, so, basically, uh, next week, next Monday, uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, it's going to be straight after the Red Bull Rookies Cup. Uh, yeah, I will be uh, doing a video on the MotoGP 18 on the Grand Prix mode. Uh, it's basically, I think it's going to be a release date. Yeah, it's going to be a release date and details video uh, on MotoGP 17. That will be on Monday. And uh, basically, I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, of when MotoGP starts, when I'm starting that new one. Um, and also, uh, when the release date is. And also, what platforms it's going to be on. Um... So yeah, that, uh, that should be interesting because I want to let you know, by the way, uh, that I am starting to get MotoGP a little bit late than usual because because uh, by the time MotoGP 18 comes out, I'll still be doing MotoGP 17 anyway. Um, so basically, what I've decided to do is, uh, is I've decided that I'm going to do uh, MotoGP until the end of June and then switch over to the new MotoGP. 
um, because it, it's actually coming out a little bit early this year. It's coming out on the seventh of June this year, which is actually a bit early because I don't I don't know why I don't know why they're bringing it out that early. I'm actually, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I want to let you know that I am starting it at the end of the um, at the end of June because it's just a bit easy. Well, but I'll just be delaying it, which is which is fine because, like I said, though I don't usually have many videos on Mochi P one with people um, who basically do it. Um, but apart from that, though, it actually um, should be um, um, should be okay. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing next week. So I'll, I'll be doing I'll be doing a, a, um, a released and de uh, I mean, let me say that again: a release date and details video. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be talking about of what's going to be uh, what's going to be in the new one and what platforms it's going to be on. But yeah, I think it should be interesting. That um, I know that, like I said, though, I'm getting a little bit worried that um, um, that basically um, it's running a little bit low. But um, yeah, so I want to let you know, by the way, that I am going to do uh, a proper announcement trailer in a couple of weeks uh, when it comes out on the store. Um, because, and like I said, though, it will be releasing on the store soon. Uh, so I will be doing uh, the announcement trailer, the proper trailer, on the uh, MotoGP 18. And I also want to do it on Monday. It'll be on a Grand Prix mode, talking about the release date and details of when it comes out, of when I'm starting the game. And also of what the riders are going to be looking like in the new one. And also what I'm going to be doing in the new one, doing the career modes, doing... All different kind of things like I might be able to do some customization videos as well. What I'm doing exactly what I'm doing tonight. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to the new Mochi P. I think it should be interesting. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same as this Mochi P, but but they're just updating it a bit more. Like what Milestone, basically Milestone are I think basically updating it a little bit more. Uh, and good news is though, uh, is the Mochi P Pro Challenge is going to be back in this one, which is going to be good news. So I'll be able to do a couple of videos on the Mochi P Pro Challenge and hopefully. That they hopefully do make the MotoGP Pro Challenge a lot longer than what it was in this MotoGP because I spent two videos doing the Pro Challenge and it, it took absolutely quick to actually do it completely. Uh, but I want to let you know, by the way, that I, I did hear from someone. I think it was uh, that yeah, Robo Forty Six, by the way, who who did the MotoGP Pro Challenge. I heard that on the PlayStation Four version of MotoGP Seventeen on the Pro Challenge, apparently you can do all the you can do all the um, the qualifying platforms and do all the races. Uh, but sadly, on the Xbox One, you can't do that, uh, which is going to be annoying. So if, if they basically bring it out again, I think I think they're only going to run it on PS4, which is going to be really annoying uh, because Milestone uh, uh, correctly, correct, correctly, um, if I can even say it right, uh, correctly uh, said that uh, that they're not going to be doing it for the Xbox One, which is going to be really annoying. So uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the Pro Challenge. Uh, also, everything else I'm looking forward to, like the options, the customization rider as well. I know so when you customize your bike should be interesting as well. But um yeah, apart from that though, I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be a good move GP. Um and um yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it. I think it should be pretty pretty cool. Probably not one of the best uh MotoGP's that they that probably ever brung out. But uh, apart from that though I'm looking forward to it. And um hopefully it should be um yeah it should be um should be really, really good. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of this week's AI career. So, like I said, next week, we're going to carry on around the before, which is going to be at Silverstone, my home circuit, and hopefully should be okay. Hopefully hopefully that we are going to get Tony Elias up the pack a little bit because I'm getting a little bit worried that Tony Elias is actually going to lose his fourth place by the time we get into the next couple of races. But let's go see how it goes because, like I said, though, that Marco Melanchi, by the way, he's a devil, by the way. I, I, I don't mean he's a devil. I mean, basically, he's closing up me and Tony Elias completely. So, I definitely need to get him down a lot in the next race. Um, Let's go see how it goes. But um, yeah, that'll be all coming up next Thursday on episode number 24 of Race 4. And we'll be in Silverstone. But that's the end of this episode here. There'll be a link in the description to the next episode once it's uploaded. Everything will be in the description down below as always. If you're not scratching out all the previous ones, I'll, I'll leave a link to the uh, to the last season of MotoGP uh, 17, the MotoGP category. If you're not going to check out that one from that way, where Rossi won the, um, the championship. And uh, yeah, all the links will be there as well. I'll, I'll leave a link to the last episode of AR Career. If you're going to check out the, the last episode, from, from, from that way, I'll, uh, I, um, I will leave a link down below to the Red Bull Rookies episode from last week, not this week. Uh, so like, uh, like I said, sadly, I, I didn't do it because I was away, but that'll be back next week. I'm going to stick for that on um, on Monday um, as well. So, yeah, make sure you stick for Red Bull Rookies on Monday. That will be back, and I'll be carrying on with that. Uh, the Mochi 18 release date and details will be on Monday. And so the, the next video coming up on my channel will be the customization of Mochi 17. I'll sure check it out from, from that way. And don't forget, guys, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. So make sure you're going to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And don't forget the 300 subscriber special will be the... Um, with the Q&A. So since I've spoke a lot 
I've out Motor Speed today. I think, I, I think I do need a breather and a drink. I'm going to end the episode here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye.